Hey guys again with uh, KBM Reviews. Um, right here we got the new ASUS VP279QP. I'm um, just going to do a little review of this monitor that I picked up for around 200 bucks. So one of the reasons I got this monitor because I thought this monitor had way better specs than the other monitors for the dollar and you know it's a full 180p it's not the 4k um but i don't i don't i want to need a 4k because i'm only using a 180p system uh i'm gonna do a dual monitor setup which you'll also see in the end and i'm be using a macbook to be running these monitors macbook air so let's go with the unboxing so i'm gonna cut these little tabs here and one of the reasons I got this mod is because it was also frameless, which it looks nice, you know, especially if you're doing a dual monitor setup, it, it just looks pretty. Um, so that's one of them. I didn't want the bulky edges. So I actually picked up two of these monitors, but you, you'll see in the end. So I have to pick this up open it up sorry about this I'm trying to do this all in one hand so holding a camera in one hand and opening it with one hand so just so once we slide this out so it looks like right here we have our power cords or accessories let's see the box is empty let's throw this out next to this other box all right so let's see what we got right here looks like this is the manual the user manual how to use the input and where to put the cables in six planes and pictures we don't need this and let's see looks like this is our power cord to plug it in I think it looks like a, a three prong power cord. Let's see what this is. This is a VGA cable. So it comes with the VGA. That's good to have. Which we, we're also going to use in the future. And this is also a auxiliary cable that comes in, which is handy to have. Throw that to the side, and this thing looks like, I think this looks like the stand, the monitor stand. So let's pull this out. It's nice and shiny. Looks simple, clean. It's actually pretty nice. So, and also has a little twisty screw there. So you wouldn't even need the screwdriver. Okay. Then also came with the. I think this is the display port cable, because this monitor does have a display port. So we might not be using this right now, but maybe in the future one day. And as typical as an HDMI cable which is pretty much standard that comes in all monitors and now let's get to the monitor so you flip this over okay we see the screen here now let's just pop the foam out so from there let's talk a little bit about the specs it's about 27 inch screen you all know that and it's full HD 180p and one of the reasons I got this monitor was it's a non glare so that kind of helps out like daytime or using your monitor and sometimes when that window glare gets in the way um, so that's why I got the non glare and also the the contrast ratio for the 
this monitor it's a uh, 8 million by one and one of the cool things about this monitor it's a uh, 5 ms response time so it, it's pretty good for gaming I, I play games on this monitor that's that's one of the reasons i got this monitor it's not the best monitor out there but it, it does give me pretty good um so one of the other key features it's a blue light filter so it's better on your eyes it's um About the speakers, these speakers are about two watts uh, each speaker. They're not the best speakers out there, but you know, I don't really use them. I have my computer speakers, so they didn't bother me that much. That's not the reason I got this monitor. This monitor. Um, so the inputs. Let's talk about the inputs. This monitor. Let me just tell you by now, it does not have a USB input, so that's one of the that's one of the cons about this monitor. Um, but one of the pros about this, it does have a HDMI input and a DisplayPort input and a D sub input, and also with the VGA input, which is pretty good, and let's see it has it has an it's a nice like brush metallic um style to it so it's pretty nice I like the color scheme and one of the other reasons um i got this monitor too because it's a 100 by 100 millimeter vesa wall mounting um so you could easily mount this to a stand or a wall mount easily with no issues um, not like the other monitors that ASUS had some of them don't have the wall mount so if you are looking forward to getting your monitor mounted um, just make sure it has the wall mount holes in the back and this is a slim design so it's pretty slim and and the other reasons I got this monitor because it's frameless um, I was looking for something clean or well most likely because I was going to use it for a dual monitor setup so I was looking for something frameless so it would look clean so that's one of the good things so right here uh, it has four screws on the mount itself if you do want to mount this monitor you have to remove all four of these screws they're, they're not that tight um, so just remove each one of these and you should be good and then put the plastic cap back in there So sorry about the blue tape. Um, the reason they're for the blue tapes, I had to mark the wall. 
Um, I didn't have a pencil, so I just used blue tape and a pen. Um, so this is my other monitor, which is already mounted. It's the exact same monitor. Um, so it's already been mounted to this wall. It looks pretty clean. It's nice. Nice and flush. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys in the end of the video once it's both of them are mounted and how they work and function. Um, so yeah, pretty um, pretty happy with these monitors. They work pretty well and Asus is a pretty known brand. Um, so if you're using a MacBook Air, I recommend you get this adapter. Um, so uh, this is my TV mount that I got. It was around 10 bucks at Fry's, which was a pretty good deal since I'm trying to do this in a budget. Um, so let's just, um, I'll show you in the end once it's all fully mounted. So this is my MacBook Air, so 2014. That's what I'm gonna be using these dual monitors with. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So sorry about the cable management here. I'm not fully done with my setup. Once we get my setup fully done, I would do so the cable management at the end. So that's the reason for the wires hanging down at the bottom. Um, so yeah, let me just get back to you once these TVs are mounted. So here's the end result. Both monitors mounted. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for the end results, how my setup came out with this monitor. They came out pretty lined up. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a full better on experience with dual monitors. I really recommend doing a dual monitor. I, I didn't seem like I needed a third one because they're pretty sufficient. They're, they're pretty big already, 27 inch um, for my desk. Um, so yeah, so this is how it looks, fully functioning, um, I really recommend getting these monitors, um, they're great, I, I like to multitask in these, they're pretty cool. So now for the gaming part of this section of this monitor, the cool key feature about this, that it does have the ability, like to add the um, crosshairs in the center of this monitor um, which could help with when you're playing Call of Duty or any shooting games um, so you just pretty much go to settings, system setup and then go, try to look for game plus and then you will want to turn this on so turn it on so once it's on, it's going to give you um, a timer or a crosshair. You, you can also set timers um, for gaming. So this does have four different type of crosshairs. Um, let's just show you a sample here. Uh, I think I'm going to go with I think I'm gonna go with the red one here. So let's cl click the check. So as you see with the shotgun, it's a uh, it's pretty good help if you're using a shotgun um, since you know you just want to shoot not without aiming. So it'll, it'll save you like a millisecond response time. So this is a pretty good gaming feature right here, which I didn't know when I bought the monitor, uh, but it's it's a bonus. So. So let's just see, um, now I'm just going to show you a little gameplay here w without the crosshairs, but just so you can see it's pretty good for gaming.
so that's pretty much it for my review here um, I suggest these monitors are pretty good if you if you are looking for a monitor that's around two hundred dollars um, these are pretty nice um, so that's pretty much it so if you guys like this video please like and subscribe for more videos um, down the comments if you guys want me to review some products please leave some comments down there what type of products um, you want me to review or suggest any products um, so that's pretty much it peace